So welcome to part 3 of this tutorial. So once we are finished with our classification, we can just dismiss this file, we can go and see the results, open a viewer and just scroll down to the image that you have just classified which happens to be this particular image, supervised classification, open and you get your familiar viewer uh, and because the classified file is just one band you can just simply load and close so when you load this file um, you don't see colors that you have um, uh, you had described earlier so to get back your colors you can just click on pseudo and then note here there is a small button called as tools so you can just click on tools and you can load the color map from image so once you click on this button you should get back your colors and just for good measure you can click on this and save this color scheme to a file such that when we perform unsupervised classification later on in this tutorial we can actually use the same color file to color the image so we're going to come back here and we will just simply call it output or something like that maybe Bhopal and save so we have saved our color map file which we can use later on if we you know kind of do another classification and want to maintain the same scheme so we can read this particular color map file so this is how we can perform supervised classification in PrimeWin now let's go and quickly see how we can perform an unsupervised classification so I'm dismissing my viewer I'm coming back again and instead of choosing supervised I will choose one of these two let me pick up ISO data clustering which is an unsupervised algorithm unsupervised algorithm all you need to do is to this is the important parameter uh, the number of classes or clusters in which you want the image to be classified recall that in unsupervised classification you don't need to provide any uh, uh, signatures that will be automatically done by the algorithm so we are just specifying the number of classes that we want the input file and this is going to be our original image file and output file so I'm going to pick up this and maybe you know name it as something uh, unsupervised or whatever so I have that name I would also like to name a report file like we had done before and maybe pick up a name and that's all that is required so just make sure that after you have entered all these file names that you come back and revisit the number of clusters and give the correct number of clusters there are other parameters also um, uh, which are used for clustering but for the time being we'll just leave the defaults as they are so all that you need to do is you can just click on the use entire image if you wanted to and then just simply say apply so once you do that your classification process starts and in a short while after a few iterations the clustering gets completed so you already have now an unsupervised classified image so I can go now and open a viewer and navigate to the file that I've just created which is this unsupervised file and I'm just going to open it as this classified file is also a single band file this dialog tells you so so we are just going to click on load and close and this is our unsupervised classified file in five classes that we had uh, uh, entered uh, during the dialog so now we will try to get back our colors so we can just go to sudo and then we can go to tools and then we can say load color map and then we can say from file and we would like to pick up the same five category file that we had saved before for our, uh, our supervised classification and the moment we do that uh, we get back our colors um, the thing with supervised class unsupervised classification is that while these colors have actually uh, uh, been applied um, we will have to the analyst has to you know uh, post classification find out what what each color actually means on the ground so this is like a post classification labeling of different colors so this is how you can perform unsupervised classification in uh, prime bin so notice in this classification that there are a lot of small pixels uh, which are isolated pixels and we would like to you know kind of 
try to remove them if possible using a post classification smoothing filter so in the next section of this tutorial the final section we will see how we can run a filter on a satellite image in prime win so how do you run a filter on a satellite image uh, you can just come here and click on filters and this opens up a window so we'll open our file in this particular case we will open um, the unsupervised classification file which is this one and so this file becomes visible and next I'll just click on this high resolution window so I get a zoom window I get a filter preview window and what I also get along with it is a filter tool box so the filter toolbox has a large number of commonly used low pass high pass filters and you can pick up and try any one of these notice on this side you have you can also select a window so you can have a 3 by 3 window a 5 by 5 window or a 7 by 7 window I'm going to stick with 3 by 3 and because I'm doing post classification smoothing where an average filter is not advised I'm going to pick up a majority filter which is also called as a mode filter and I can just click preview to see um, the preview of this particular filter the effect of this particular filter which will appear in this window so I'm just going to do this so this is how the filter will change the image for this little square and uh, I'm happy with what it is doing consolidating very small pixels into larger groups and I'm just going to go ahead and say apply to file so I have to specify an output file and I'm going to pick this up and label it as filter and add the band and then just simply go ahead and say perform filter so my filter is already applied and I can just come back again dismiss all the windows and go back open a viewer okay and open my filter file so I'm going to click here and pick up my unsupervised filter file which is the result of applying the 3 by 3 mode filter and just simply load and close as before and so this is my uh, filtered classified image okay and I'm gonna go and make it pseudo and then go to tools and load a color map the one that I have used before or saved before from file and I'm going to go and pick that up and this is my uh, filtered file so this is how you can run a filter in PrimeWin to conclude this tutorial uh, PrimeWin provides you with some other common image processing tools uh, one is for geometric correction some common transformations that you can explore and there is also a utility button here uh, one of the important things that many people would like to use is data import and they can actually import data from the Indian resource to sat to satellite from here so thank you very much for watching and hope that this tutorial will help you use this uh, very interesting free software from the Indian Space Research Organization